the mass of 34.2 moles of this junk here is uh, 3,902 and, and so on. All right, so let me, yes, I'm going to underline this because this is important because it gives me a huge amount of information. Now it says calculate the molar mass. So we want to know the molar mass of this unknown okay, x here. All right, so that's what we're going to be trying to figure out. Now, they do give us the molar masses of the nitrogen and oxygen. Okay, so notice that we have these two given. So that's what you have here. That is the nitrogen and then oxygen, because it says respectively. All right, okay, so how do we tackle this? Well, first of all, whoops, okay, so let me just change this up. So first of all, we have to... Uh, provide all the givens. Now, the first given is they give us what the mass, so notice, so we have 34.2 moles of N3 and then X2O4 is, and then it's actually a pretty big number here. All right, so this is what we have. Okay, so that's the mass there. Now, we also know the molar masses of nitrogen and of oxygen. So we know those two. So let me write those in. All right. And we have to solve for this unknown molar mass. Okay, so let's write that in. So let the molar mass of the unknown x let b okay so let's write this opening statement molar mass and molar mass is okay so this is going to be in grams per mole okay so we can put that unit at the end okay and let's try to now dissect actually this entire thing here that now keep in mind when you're reading this okay so when you're setting this up they tell you in this case that we have 34.2 moles okay of this you know this pretty big kind of molecule or compound or whatever that is and we know that the total mass okay is right there now you may remember okay so from some of your studies i guess maybe in math the word of always means multiply in math and the word is means equal so i can take that entire statement so 34.2 so it says times and now i'm going to open bracket okay so i always open brackets for these and inside of this bracket so i have three nitrogens so i have three now, I actually know what the nitrogen is. It's 14.01. Now, this is the tricky part because you have these brackets here. Okay, so what we do is we first take the 4, okay, and then let me just change the color quickly here. Okay, so 4 of these, okay, so I have 2 of these Xs. So I don't know what the molar mass of that X is. So I'm using M of X here, plus okay, the oxygen, which is inside, and that I do know, which is 16. Now notice I'm going to close the bracket there. Okay, and now I have to close actually the big bracket because that belongs to the entire thing. And that is supposed to equal to this kind of big number here. All right, so that's what we have. So that's the equation. Now it doesn't look very pretty, okay? Because now we have to actually solve this. So I'm going to go and jump inside of these brackets, okay? So at first, so notice I have these big brackets here, and if I jump inside, so I don't like to bring that 34.2 inside of the bracket right away. I'm going to try to simplify these things. So first of all, notice that I can actually simplify this, right? Okay, because this is just a multiplication. So if I do that, 
I have 3 times 14.01. So that gives me 42.03. Okay, so that's still in that big bracket there. Plus, all right, and now notice, okay, I have 4. Now this 4 I'm going to bring inside to get rid of this bracket. So that's going to give me 8 m x plus and then 4 times 16 so that's actually 64 you can do that on the calculator and that is still inside of that big bracket okay so now before doing anything else I'm I can still simplify notice I have 42.03 and I have 64 so I can add these up together so if I add them up, so 42.03 plus 64. So from that, okay, so from those two, from these two right here, I will have 106.03 plus 8m. Notice I can't do anything with the 8m because it has the variable that I want. So that completes that big bracket and of course I still have you know this 34.2 here so that doesn't go away in any in any case and then of course I still have the other right hand side so I have this okay so that goes right there okay now, once I do that, so now it looks a lot better, but I still have this 34.2 okay, in front. So I'm going to bring it in to distribute it across the bracket, okay, like so. So 34.2, let me take out the calculator here. So I have 34.2 times 106.03. So that's going to give me 3626.226 plus now I'm going to take the 34.2 and multiply it by, so this by this 8, so let me do that, 34.2 times 8 equals, and that gives me 273.6. 273.6 that is mx and then I still have that on the right hand side so I'm getting closer so what do I do now well I want to be able to solve this for mx so I will shift this over to the opposite side and we're going to get so 273.6 mx equals and now I have 3902.0148 minus so I'm running out of space there so 3626.226 so let me do that subtraction on the right hand side so I have 3902.0148 minus 3626.226. All right, so now I have 275.7 and then 888. So I am almost done. So what do I do now? I want to solve for MX. So I'm going to divide both sides by 273.6. 273.6 to get rid of that and we will finally be able to solve for that molar mass so now taking that and dividing it so 273.6 equals and voila 1.008 don't forget it's grams per mole and that's the amount of work that you would have to do to try to get this damn thing 
done. So there it is. Okay, so you can look through this over. You may have to look through it uh, a few times. And the solution for it is actually a little bit okay, convoluted. There's a lot of things happening there, but we did it. Okay, so thank you for watching. Okay, cheers.